Hey, Claude Pallon here, Affiliate Starting Line. Welcome. This is going to be a short video about the cPanel and how to back up your website using the backup feature. And the reason you want to do that is you obviously want a database to back up your, your website. Now, I happen to use WordPress websites, and there are plugins that will do backup for you, and you can do that, use that, and I have been. But sometimes those backups aren't um, easy to work with for your web host. So um, I was just shown by my uh, customer support uh, rep at HostGator uh, another option, and that is to save your website backup through the cPanel, and then you can actually give it to them to install. You can install it yourself. So let's take a look and see how you do that. So here is a generic cPanel uh, page. Now, if you have, I use HostGator, if you have Bluehost, if you have HostMonster, if you have a Media, host, media Temple, there are lots of hosting companies. That, uh, you want one that has a cPanel configuration, and uh, it, uh, it works like this. cPanel, <clears throat> the backup for your, for your website is going to be found under backups in the Files panel. Now, very often that Files panel is, is located three or four steps down below, but as you can see, you can move these around. I usually move mine up to the top so it's easier to find. Now what you want to look for is backups right here, backups, and you want to click it. Now backups is going to take you to the backup dashboard, and here are a whole list of databases. So in this imaginary website, you've got um, a ton of websites and they all have databases and there's a way of finding what the database corresponds to which site and I'll do that in another video. But for the purposes of this, let's say we want to back up this database right here. So all you have to do is click it and it's going to come back and give you an option. Uh, in this case, I want to save it to my desktop and you click save. Now when you click save, you're going to want to use, as it told me, the SQL.gz. You want it in, in the SQL format because it's a, it's a SQL database. You click that <clears throat> and the database will go to your desktop. Now, let's say something goes wrong with the website and, you, and it's screwed up and you need to get a, the database restored. Well, you can come in back to this panel. Remember, we found this by going to let's go back one. We found it by coming up here to finding the files, clicking backups. So you'd come back in here, you'd find this, and then you see restore a MySQL database. You want to go find the MySQL database. Here it is. You want to open it. There it is, ready to go. And then you want to click upload, restoring the database. And I really don't know want to do that, but that's how it works. So. That's, and then that would reload the database back into your, in the proper folder and file of your, in your host, uh, on your host site, and you'd be ready to go. Now, if you're not comfortable doing that, you can always uh, call customer support or whatever uh, hosting company you use, and they'll do it for you. You just email them uh, the database as an attachment, and then they put it in for you. So that's it. So just to recap, if you want to um, back up your database, your, your websites securely, you want to go to your files panel, go to backups, click it, find the database, click it, save it uh, wherever you want to save it on your website, and then when you need it, you choose file, go find it, it'll load up, click upload, and you're done. And that's it. So I hope this video has been helpful. This is Claude Pallon at Affiliate Starting Line. Stay with it, stay well, and we'll talk to you soon.